So thank you for all your speakers. I just would like to welcome uh, David Pisoni, if you would like to, to come here. And uh, I would like... So as you know, David uh, is our Minister of uh, Innovation and Skills. Uh, so I will give you uh, the microphone. Well, thank you uh, so much. And of course, David, I remember those emails um, coming in. Um, and then almost the next day, I'd get the same number from the taxi industry. So it was a, um, um, but of course, we were, we, were, you know, we were in opposition back then, but we were still very supportive of, of innovation. And, um, uh, and the, um, uh, the new way of doing business. And of course, we haven't changed as, as, a, um, as a government. Uh, this venue that you're sitting in now, when we were elected in March 2018, uh, was an empty hospital site with um, um, abandoned, basically. There was no plan other than the one that we took the election. What's interesting about that is that um, uh, the Innovation Centre was a way of using the old buildings because, you know, you can't knock them down. Uh, they're beautiful buildings. We wanted to activate them, but it's now become the entire focus of the whole site. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing how quickly uh, the desire to build uh, a um, ecosystem for startups and innovation um, has taken off. Um, and we've, and it's not just, of course, the work we're doing here. Uh, we've got other innovation centres throughout um, uh, the state. Uh, we've um, connected uh, both uh, Mount Gambia and Wyala to the uh, Sabernet. It's a very fast um, government-owned, uh, university-owned um, fibre system uh, that um, connects those um, regions to uh, the rest of the world uh, on fast internet. Uh, and of course, um, we've even um, introduced uh, for the first time in Australia, innovation and entrepreneurial curriculum in our high schools. And I was just sitting here listening to the panel and um, imagining um, in just a few years time as we're starting to change the culture here in South Australia, uh, that this will be year 11 and 12 students being disengaged in uh, venture capital. Um, wouldn't that be a turnaround uh, for, um, for South Australia where um, kids are going to school, not um, in the hope that someone will give them a job when they're finished, uh, but with the ambition of um, making jobs uh, for others through starting their own businesses. And that's, that's the, the vision uh, that we have uh, as a government. Um, uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll be announcing our um, Excite program uh, here at this site. I think um, uh, just over 12 hours time, uh, I'll be back here um, uh, with the chief scientist uh, who's done an enormous job uh, in uh, engaging um, uh, and understanding the entrepreneurial uh, sector and, and innovation sector here in South Australia. And we'll be announcing what we'll be doing to support the Innovation Centre. I think um, Tuesday night's budget, there's some terrific news for um, R&D. Uh, South Australia has been traditionally quite poor at accessing R&D and we'll be announcing uh, some support uh, for South Australian businesses to do that uh, tomorrow through our, um, our Excite program. So um, 12 months ago, we, we announced um, our FIX program, um, our Future Industries um, Exchange program. Um, and here we are now, of course, um, uh, about to announce our Excite program based around science and research innovation. Uh, we do a lot of very clever things here in South Australia, but then we give them away. Um, uh, what obviously we want to do is work, um, uh, facilitate, be the facilitators of the private sector, working with um, our research sector um, and uh, commercialising those products here in South Australia. Only the IP, whether that be science IP, whether it be creative industries IP, uh, whether it be something you've um, designed as a unique service product that can be sold around the world. And that was the whole idea about um, the Productivity Commission's report that um, identified an opportunity for the government to be a customer of our startup community. I mean, this is, this is revolutionary, um, the go-to-gov program. If you look at um, um, uh, the history of how government has purchased in the past, you know, it's had this little room of experts. Um, I sort of close my eyes and I picture what that room might look like. Um, you know, um, a smoky room with um, middle-aged men and older uh, in um, long socks and sandals uh, pumping out um, tender documents and uh, telling the industry 
uh, what the government wants to fix their to fix their problems. Um, well, we've actually uh, with our Go to Gov program, uh, we've we're going out to the startup community, and not only are we saying, look, we've got these problems. Um, what can you do? What do you think will fix it? We're also allowing um, the startup community to actually identify problems that the government has with a solution to fix it. Uh, and uh, so this is um, uh, uh, our contribution, if you like, as being you know, the biggest business in town. Uh, and we want to we want to change that as quickly as we can here in South Australia. We don't want the government to be the biggest business in town. Um, and we want um, the startup community to obviously be able to say they've got um, a, a government a, a program that government should be buying. Uh, we don't want them going to other states, going overseas and saying, we've got this government program. Um, and then when I ask the question, well, does your government use it? Uh, we say, well, uh, well no, they, um, uh, they don't. So it's a bit, hard, bit of a hard sell. Uh, so it's about backing um, small businesses, about taking risks. You know, I expect that there'll be at some stage, the Premier or I will be in front of a camera saying, yes, uh, yes, this did go south. Um, you know, it, it all went to shit, but sorry. Um, uh, you know, we, we, we've got to get back on the horse and um, put that down of experience and, um, uh, and continue with the program. And this is a change of attitude. Um, you would all know that here in, in Australia, and I think in South Australia in particular, if you fail in business, you might as well move um, to an island where they put all, all the lepers because nobody wants to know you. Um, whereas that really is a... Uh, a learning experience. Uh, we need to be more like um, they are in countries like the United States uh, who um, will value someone that has achieved something but perhaps fallen over uh, at, the, um, at the last mile or the last yard um, and um, put that down to experience. And uh, that's, the, that's what we need for our startup community to, um, to succeed. That's what we'd like to see as a government, um, a complete change of culture here in South Australia, a strong private enterprise driven company uh, that has international products that um, live here, uh, but are servicing the world. So good luck everybody. And uh, thanks so much for attending this evening. And I think I'm officially closing now, aren't I? The, the event. Thank, thank you very much, David. Thank you very much. Um, So before Leo will um, close in two, two minutes, I would like to uh, thank you all the Stone and Child team, uh, especially um, Mary, Marion, Mike, uh, Chris and uh, Dan. I would like also to, to thank you uh, the French Tech uh, so for the help for the organization Marion, Alexandra and Amélie. Uh, I would like uh, to thank you Australians, all the speakers uh, to today, uh, and uh, uh, Sophie, uh, who uh, uh, is in Mexico and helped a lot. Thank you so much, Leo, to come to Adelaide thank here for so this much. first event. Thank you, Natalie. A big thanks uh, yeah, to, uh, to Natalie. Uh, I remember she presented actually in, uh, in Sydney uh, for the uh in september last year uh so it's amazing uh, you know you you made me come to uh to adelaide and you know import that um that concept so i hope you uh all enjoy uh you know um the experience tonight and we'll make the most uh, we've got plenty of amazing food prepared by uh les deux coq uh, like a french restaurant some of you may know um there's still plenty of drink i think you know we we're looking to close around uh 9 p.m so make sure you you know, you enjoy and you meet as many pe uh, people as, as possible. Um, you know, I'll, we had obviously uh, a number of people online. We've been uh, recording this event and I think uh, uh, it's been amazing to have, you know, all the parts of the, of the ecosystem here represented. Um, you know, it's quite fascinating to see, you know, the, the energy, you know, the creativity in, uh, in South Australia. So well done you know, for, um, you know, giving a good image, you know, well done to the, to the founder to also, you know, push a little bit and, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, what's probably missing for them, you know, even though they, they are building some amazing, uh, you know, building, um, uh, building uh, ventures. Um, and yeah, I mean, for me, it's, uh, you know, it's been a great journey, you know, jump in the plane for the first time in, uh, in nine months and, uh, you know, be here with you. So, 
uh, you know, if, you know, obviously if I can help any of your business to, uh, to grow, come and, uh, and see me. Um, and, you know, you're very welcome uh, in, our, in our community. Uh, big thanks to, uh, you know, all the, all the partners, you know, Startup Adelaide, obviously, uh, French Tech, uh, South Start, um, you know, Stone and Shock. Uh, I ask actually uh, Mike to come. He's been doing an amazing uh, job, uh, you know, at the, at, the, at the back. And, you know, for all the kind of virtual attendees. So yeah. big thanks to all of you. Thank you. And thanks. <clears throat> Thank you. Cheers. And I just wanted to extend the invitation again to join us next Wednesday evening where we have an event uh, to the title of Adelaide Gateway to the Stars. You get to hear Flavia um, and Lloyd talking about the launch. Um, so it's another great opportunity to be back here uh, experiencing the events that we have here. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.